Gabby Petito's friend said she fears Brian Laundrie may try to hurt her if he is about to get captured by authorities. During a TikTok live session, Gabby's pal Rose Davis said that she did worry about what the fear city would do if he became disparate. I don't have a fear that he'll come after me, but I do fear that if he is about to get caught, then maybe there is a possibility he'll try to hurt me, Davis said. She added, I just don't think he's that strong. It. While Davis did clear up some confusion about the condo that Gabby and Flongy were living in before they embarked on their cross-country road trip this summer, she mostly stayed the clear of answering questions about Londy. I don't really want to talk about Brian because when this goes to trial, we need all our ducks in a line, she explained. During the live session, she also revealed the struggle of being thrust into the public eye, including having to deal with the stalker. Davis also assured commenters that she was confident in the law enforcement officers handling Gabby's case. The FBI is doing their job, she says, suggesting that there were aspects about the case that could not yet be made public. Davis is Gabby's friend who was planning to meet up with the couple at some point during their road trip. She spoke about the plans, plans briefly during the live sessions, noting she was expecting a call from Gabby on her birthday, August 29. We made plans for after my birthday to go to Yellowstone, Davis explained, but when when you are living van life, you can't always have a set plan. So she was gonna call me on my birthday. But she did not call me on my birthday. She said she wasn't initially worried about the missed phone date because things naturally pop up during a cross country road trip. They believed that she was in the area of Grand Teton National Park. They received a text from her phone on August 30. But the family do not believe the message was from Gabby. Laundry returned alone to the couple summer not. Port, Florida on September 1. Gabby was officially reported missing 10 days later on September 11. Gabby's body was found in Grand Teton National Park on September 19. On September 21, the Teton Country Coroner Dr. Brent Blue confirmed that she died as a result of a homicide. Subscribe World Trend News 24 to get trending news every day. We live in accuracy.